All right, welcome back to Nurse Mark. If I can do it, you can do it. I have a uh, 2009 Chevy Malibu here, 3.5 liter V6 engine. And most of the videos here are on four cylinder uh, engine. So what I'm trying to show you is how to change a thermostat on this thing because I was having a, a uh, my cold temperature wasn't going up. So I changed the sensor, which we learned in my other video was right there. So I changed that out and it's working fine, but I figured I'd go ahead and change out the thermostat anyway. Okay. So we learned that the sensor was right near the oil fill and oil check uh, uh, stick, the dipstick, and it's right above the transmission in front of it. So now I'm going to go ahead and change out the thermostat. So as you know, I have to t you have to take this piece off. This is uh, the uh, air intake. It goes from the filter to the airflow sensor. Take that off. All you do is screw this off. You screw that off. And then you got this piece you gotta this piece here you gotta deal with. And that's right here. That's this piece. And you just there's a there's a uh, this here. You just you pull that and pull it off. That's all you do. And it just goes on to on to here, right there. So I just pulled that out. Okay. And uh now on here <clears throat> here's the problem I'm having is this hose is in the way. This hose is in the way. Can't see it there. This light's not good. Okay, so that hose right here. I need better lighting here. Hold on a second. Okay, so you can see a little bit better now. So that hose is in the way. This hose right here is in the way. This one's in the way. And then there's one right there that's in the way. And what we're trying to do is get down to, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, right there. If you can see it or not. Not good video quality, huh? Maybe if I go on this side. I'll have to edit this video, huh? Alright. You can kind of see the... Kind of see it down there. It's right there. See the clamps there? That's what I'm trying to get to. Those clamps. So I had to go buy this piece. Because I can't get a I can't get any clamps on there. <clears throat> so I went and bought this thing. Right here. And it clamps down on those clamps while you can work on it. See here? It's hard to videotape and do this at the same time. You see how it clamps down? And it'll clamp shut like a vice grip. So I'm going to try to get these hoses off. And uh, I already drained out the uh, antifreeze and that was in the pet cock back here. See if I can show you the pet cock there. Can't find it. There it is. So it's down here by the. So 
Not sure. I'll check that. Okay, after all that, so here's the here's the engine bay, and then you just go on the right hand. Well, it'd be right hand side if you're facing the car, and then you go down here underneath this hose here, right here underneath the hose, and look all the way down. There's the petcock, right there. That's how I drain the radiator fluid. All right, so now that I drain the radiator fluid, I'm gonna come over here and take out this hose here. There's the hose, you can see it better. That, that one right there. And if you can see the housing, let's see if I can get in there. See it there? It's, it's not fo there it focuses. So that's a stud there. You got to take that off. It's a 10 millimeter. I'm just trying to get that that clamp off right now. And then on the other side is another 8 10 millimeter nut. So I'm going to try to get that off. And the reason why I'm doing this video is just to see, see if it's even worth doing. Okay, so I got that hose off. Now I'm working on this one there. That one's a little tougher. I'm trying to get leverage to pull that off. As you can see, I've got that clamp on here. I don't know if you can see it. See it here? I got that clamp on there. That's helping me. So, it's a good, pretty good tool. Helps out a little bit. Okay. I got that hose off. That wasn't that bad. Okay. So now it's just, I got my bucket down here draining. So, all in all, helping getting this hose off helped out a lot so I can get levers down to there. At least you can see it. And then of course now I've got to get this, that 10 millimeter, that's a stud I got to get off. And then on the other side, it's a 10 millimeter nut. I'll work on that now. Okay, I need to get that off. This here is attached. I don't know what that's for, but I need to get this it's hot attached with this thing here so I'm just gonna get that off and I can get the stud off okay as you can see I got it off and now this I can't get a regular 10 millimeter I have to get a deep socket on that because a regular one won't fit Okay, there's the stud. I got that out. That was pretty easy. Now we'll go for the 10 millimeter nut. Okay, you guys, that was fun. I had to, I had to get it on my ladder. I had to go all the way around, turn around like this with my right hand and just feel and get my wrench in there because I couldn't really see. And so I got the nut out. Looks like that. This one here is the, the one that's on the passenger side, and this was on the driver's side. And that was, that was getting that one out blind. So now I just have to get the, the housing off, which is down there. Right there, I'm going to pull that off might just come off now oh there we go come on oh there we go it's not stuck. 
All right, we got it. That's it. I don't know how to test to see if that's bad, but I'm going to go ahead and replace it. Now, I was told, oops. Now, this part's the top part. Let me focus here. This is the top part, so you keep it up like that when you go in. And you got to remember there's a air bubble. Let's get it. It's right here. When you put the piece in, make sure that little bobbly thing stays. Uh, on t you got to make sure it's in the right spot. So mine, you can see, is in with line with the little hub up here, a little bump. That's the top part, and then my bubble, whatever this is called, I'm going to install it the same way, okay? That's to let air get through the line. And I bought this from O'Reilly's. I hope it's pretty good, because I don't want to do this again. Okay, I've got the uh, stud. I'm going to try to screw that in there. I'm using the camera to see. I can't see. Get the ladder. Well, I can see a little better now. I'm up on the ladder. Okay, I'm in. Man, the hardest part, you guys, is getting to this thing. Let's see if I can get it out. Okay. Now they say this is aluminum, so don't do not cross thread this. I don't even know if I'm in, you guys. Well, this isn't the easiest thing to do. It's just tight, that's all. All right, let's try, let's try this again. <sighs> try it again. Let's see if I can get on this ladder and get a good angle. This stupid thing's in the way, whatever that is. All right, let's try this. Well, I'm having a hard time, guys. Let me pause this. Okay, you guys. I got those... Well, I, I have the... I have them in. I don't have the torque specs down yet. I think it's seven foot pounds. Again, don't over tighten them because it isn't aluminum. So, all right, I'm going to go tighten those down and then we're going to hook the hoses up. That was, that took me the longest trying to get those, uh, those nuts back in. Okay. I got them tightened down. The uh, stud on the passenger side no, the stud on the driver's side, the one you see in the screen here to the right, that was hard to get on, but I finally threaded it on. The passenger side nut, that was, uh, I had to put that in blind. It's the only way I could do it. Now I'm going to hook up the hoses. Okay, you can see I got the hose on. Putting the hose on was easy. And since I have that clamp, that I just bought that was so easy to put on instead of trying to use like a channel lock or something and it looks like looks like this 
that's what it looks like guys on the background here okay looks like that I would go get one of those that works pretty good all right go right, I'm just going to show you how this clamp works so it goes on here like this and then you squeeze it right here squeeze and then it locks and then you can move it while you're doing it so much easier if you don't want to get your fingers trapped in this inch it up here I have to squeeze a little bit more yeah I hope it don't pop off because it's going to pinch my fingers and that's not going to be fun. Just inching it up. There we go. All right, and try to put it on the same way that you had it. It's like, that looks like the spot right there. And then you come over here. You just push that button and it unlocks that's it all right you guys well thanks to my boy helping me videotape that we've got that on and then this piece just comes up like this Can you see it and then it goes in here like that somehow someone didn't fix that it was just open. All right, I've got everything. Now I'm gonna fill it up with antifreeze right here and uh, go through the, the method of getting all the air bubbles out. And I almost forgot. Don't forget to put the petcock back on the radiator.